Hello YouTube, I'm DK Shady here and I'm back with another Beyblade Burst Turbo Unboxing. This time we're going to be looking at Typhon T4. Alright, so let's look at the box of Typhon T4. So here we got the graphic, Typhon T4 right there, Beyblade Burst Turbo, the logo, and the parts right there, and the launcher. And on the back we got the stats and the turbo stats. So it has 1 attack, 1 burst, 7 defense, set 5 weight, 4 agility, and 4 stamina. It has 4 power and 2 speed. Alright, so since this Beyblade does not have a TT counterpart, we're just going to be looking at its parts right out of the box. So first off, we're going to be looking at Defense-S. And my one came in slingshot mode, I guess, so I'm going to have to undo it. Now, Defense-S, in my opinion, doesn't have as much stamina as a normal defense, mainly because it's so tiny, the little point. And it's another problem with Turbo is the quality control, because my one is so stiff. It's so tight, and at the time of recording this, my, I cut my nails, and it's basically stabbing my fingers. It, it's so tight. Um, yes, Defense Dash S doesn't have much stamina. It's not as good as a normal defense, and it's and mo ca most cases, as I've seen, I have two of these, and they're not as tight as a normal defense as well, which is really disappointing because it does look pretty darn cool. The disc it comes with is 4. 4 is what I like to call a staple disc. You can't go wrong with 4. I mean, there are better options, but 4 is pretty basic. It's alright. You can use it. It is competitively viable. So here we have the layer Typhoon T4, Typhoon T4, no one knows how to pronounce that, but looking at it, it looks pretty good. I mean, think about all that silver being metal, that looks sick. Now my one, it has this little paint damage right here out of the box, Hasbro, come on, quality control. Hasbro's kinda messing up on turbo, dude. Uh, it has that goblin type face in the middle, I don't know why it has that, I don't know if the avatar itself had that in the game. And here is uh, the QR code for those who want it, and on the back it is very hollow, just like Sphinx. Now on the sides, we don't get that full metal, metallic paint illusion, it's just clear, it doesn't look nice on the side. I really wish they painted the entire side, so at least it would look convincing, but it does not, because it's only half metallic paint. What would that mean, like half metal? Which probably wouldn't be as good as Dead Hades, but okay. Now. On the, the purple layer itself, not the top layer, it's very jagged, and I feel like uh, that would cause it to burst a lot more easily. But uh, yeah, like those little points right there. And uh, the gap in the middle may also contribute to the Beyblade's weakness. But let's find out how tight this is, and um, it's tight going in, and it's okay coming out. So it's like pretty basic slopes right here. Um, I'd say it's more than Rain Fafnir, but I would also say it's also above Emperor Corneus, that's for sure. It's underneath Sphinx, that's a uh, given from what I can tell right now. It is alright, it's above Emperor Corneus, so I think that's alright, but since Emperor Corneus were pretty good. Anyway, now I would normally tell you to get this if you want the Hasbro exclusive experience, but Diomedes has Defense S and it's a usable layer in Burst Classic, so there's more value in Diomedes. So get Diomedes.